Sponges at that time had not been considered a true animals and they, nobody really knew where to place them. But then we become more and more interested in sponges as we recognize sponges are the best source for novel bioactive compounds. Sponges are somehow unique because they uh, can adapt to uh, almost any kind of environmental um, situation. If we have water somewhere around, we can always find uh, peculiar sponges and uh, the sponges really ca can be very diverse. That is a first um, a volume of um, the German deep sea expedition which took place approximately 100 years ago and they discovered um, a series of new sponges. Among them also the giant sponge, the monographies, which can grow up to three meters. And um, the size of that particular sponge is um, <coughs> maintained and stabilized by one kind of spicule. It's the oldest animal which is still living today and its age is approximately 50,000 years. Sponges have an extremely high scientific value. They are extremely important for understanding of the early evolution of the animals because um, the sponges are the first metasones which evolved from the hypothetical ancestor of all metasones from the Urmetasoa. We can learn also from the sponges very much how the cells are um, specializing and are forming particular organ-like systems which can fulfill really extraordinary complex functions. For instance, they have an immune system which is very much related to the immune systems of humans. The sponges have a rhesus factor. The sponges' rhesus factor is an ammonia channel. And then after that, it was found that also rhesus factor in our body. So we can learn a lot from the sponges also for the better understanding of the uh, human blueprints. So one uh, main focus of our work is uh, the application of biosilica, the product uh, formed by a specific enzyme from uh, sponges, the silica dean. And this biosilica can be used for different applications. And we are especially interested in the application in bone formation. So one very promising application is the application in dentistry. What we can do is to use silica dean, this specific enzyme which forms biosilica. We can use this silica dean to form nanolayers on tooth. And these nanolayers can act protective against, for example, uh, heat or other influences and especially against uh, the uh, carriers. We are always going uh, to something new and one of my dreams is of course in the next uh, let's say in two years from now to make a three-dimensional transistor. Also some fantastic things for instance how to make uh, to, to implement these kind of speakers in a, a new telecommunication system. I was diving in the uh, Amazon to uh, find the tree sponges, or I was diving under the ice in the Lake Baikal to uh, find these, uh, to make photos, movies of these wonderful uh, sponges over there. Then I was diving in Mongolia to find out the origin of this kind of endemic uh, sponge uh, spe uh, species, and this is really fascinating and uh, we have still some more lakes to go.